एलसीएम बाय डिवीजन मेथड 3 12 48 सो लेट्स डिवाइडेड बाय 3 1 10 4 देन 16 देन बाय 4 टेबल्स 1 1 4 लास्ट बाय 4 सो 1 1 1 here the LCM is 3 into 4 into 4, 48. Instead of doing the cell method, they can use a shortcut to find the LCM. If the numbers are like this, check the numbers first. Here, these three numbers are connected. How they are connected means they are connected by multiples. Here, the 48. 48 is a multiple of 3 and 48 is a multiple of 12. 3, 16 is a 48, 12, 4 is a 48. So in this case, the biggest number is the LCM. Let me tell you another example. If it's 44, 22 and 176, in this, without doing this L method, we can tell easily the biggest number, this 176 is the LCM. Because 176 is a multiple of 44. 44, 4 is a 176. Then 22, 22. 8 is 176. So in this case, 176 is the LCM. So if the numbers are multiples, then the biggest number is the LCM. If the numbers are multiples, then the biggest number is the LCM. That is the type 1. Now type 2. Here, they are not multiples. 4 and 18, they are not multiples, but they have a common factor 2. In this case, to find the LCM, take the bigger number and find the multiple of it. 18 multiples, 18 twos are 36. So in this case, this multiple 36 is a multiple of 4. So LCM of 4 and 18 is 36. So take the bigger number and find the multiples of it and check whether that multiple go is a multiple of this. Then that is the LCM. Next example 3, 4, 6. In this the bigger number 6 is a multiple of 3 but it is not a multiple of 4. In this case what we have to do this bigger number multiples. We have to take the multiple of this bigger number 6 multiples 12. 12 is a multiple of 4 and 12 is a multiple of 3. So LCM is 12. LCM of 3, 4, 6, 12. Next example, 9, 30 and 120. In this the bigger number 120 is a multiple of 30 but it is not a multiple of 9. So what we have to do? Take the multiples of 120. Multiples of 120 is 240. Now check whether this multiple is a multiple of these two numbers. 240 is a multiple of 30. But 240 is not a multiple of 9. So what we have to do? Let's take the next multiple of 120. Next multiple of 120. 120 is 360. 123 is 360. Now check. 360 is a multiple of 30. And 360 is a multiple of 9. So in this case, LCM of 9, 30, 120 is 360. Third type, if the numbers are prime, then to find the LCM, just multiply the numbers. 3 into 5, 15. LCM of 3 and 5 is 15. LCM of 7, 11, 2. They are prime, so multiply it. 7 into 11, 77. 77 into 2, 154. LCM of 7, 11 and 2 is 154. There are less than 27 dozen eggs in the basket. And if the eggs are counted as 3 3 or 5 5 eggs or 7 7 eggs or 9 9, then none are left over. It means that the number of eggs in the basket is a number which is divisible by 3, 5, 7, 9. So to find the number which is divisible by these, 
we can do factorization or by shortcut method we can find out. Let me tell you a shortcut. Here out of 4 numbers, these 2 numbers 3 and 9, they are connected. 3 and 9, 9 is a multiple of 3. So in this case, we can take only 9. Out of these 2 numbers, we can take only 9. Then the remaining numbers 5, 7. So if you check now, they are prime. 5 and 7 prime numbers. So in this case, multiply the numbers. 5 7s are 35, 35 9s are 315. So 315 eggs are there in the basket. Sava and Sana is running in a circular track. Sava completes a round in 120 seconds. Sana completes a round in 150 seconds. The question is that after what time will they meet again at the starting point? To find the answer, we have to find the LCM of 120 and 150. Let's use the shortcut trick. First, let's take 120 as 12 and 150 as 15. So that we can find the LCM in an easy way. 12 and 15, they are not common multiples. So what we have to do, take the bigger number and find the multiple of it. 15 multiples, 30, but 30 is not a multiple of 12. In this case, let's take the next multiple, 45. Again, 45 won't be the multiple of 12. So next multiple of 15 is 60. 60 is a multiple of 12. So in this case, LCM of this two number is 60 and the LCM of 120 and 150 second is 60, not 60, we have to add one more zero. So it's 600 seconds. After 600 seconds, Sara and Sana will meet again at the starting point. There are 30 blue balloons in a packet and 23 white balloons in a packet. If Charles is asked to buy same number of balloons, then what is the smallest number he has to buy? That is a question to find that we have to find the LCM of these balloons in a pack, 13 and 23. They are prime numbers, so multiply to get the LCM. 13 into 23, 299. 299 balloons Charles has to buy.